guys welcome back to another video by simply learn in today's video we're going to learn javascript now javascript is one of the most important languages today the rise of internet has helped javascript scale to a stellar level so in this video i'm going to introduce javascript to you but before we begin make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update first let's have a look at a brief history of javascript JavaScript was written in 10 days by Brendan Eich in 1995. He was working at Netscape at the time and was implementing Java, the hot buzzword for the browser. Later, he developed a more easy to use programming language called Mocha. The idea was to make Java available for big professional component writers, while Mocha would be used for small scripting tasks. Mocha was later renamed to JavaScript. Now, in 2009, Node.js was released. This allowed programmers to write full applications in JavaScript. NPM was also created for installing reusable bits of code in libraries. So moving on, what exactly is JavaScript? JavaScript is a server-side and client-side programming language. It is commonly used to create web applications. Now, all of these applications in JavaScript can be seen in diverse fields like gaming, web development, server development, robotics, among others. Popular JavaScript libraries and frameworks like React.js and Angular have scaled tremendously in the past few years. Moving ahead, let me show you a simple demo to implement a few concepts of JavaScript. Let's head to VS Code for this. Alright, so back in my VS Code, I've created a folder called demo underscore JS within which I've created a file for variables, which is the HTML file. Alright, I've also added the initial code for it with the title tag and the uh, heading tag. And now within the script, I'm going to define my variables. So here, let me say var, the keyword var and say x equals 5. Now, uh, JavaScript is loosely typed and also all these variables can be declared as and when they're being used all right so with this variable i can just print it out let me say document dot write x all right so let's go and open the file all right so here you can see the heading has been displayed with the value of x that is 5. now we can also perform various actions on these variables so let me say variable y equals 3 and then let's say variable sum equals x plus y and here let me just output the sum have a look at the browser it displays 8 all right so now let's go ahead and create another html file to understand how arrays work in javascript so let's say arrays.html Alright, let me just copy the initial code for the same. Alright, I've added the initial code for it. And now let's go ahead and create an array. So here, let me say let. I'm going to create an array of cars. So let's say cars within which I say BMW. And then I say Volvo. And then I say Honda. All right, so we successfully created an array. Now we can just output it using console log. Let's say console log cars of zero, which indicates the value of the array at the position index, at the index position zero. Similarly, let's just say console.log cars two. All right, so when we save it and then execute it let's see let's have a look at the browser you can see it's displayed bmw which was at the index position zero and then it's displayed honda which was at the index position two now let's display the length of the array so uh, for that we can make use of the len property and say cars dot length here and after this we'll just console log it so let's say len all right so when we have a look at the browser, we have three here, which indicates the length of our array. Now we can also perform other actions like looping over it. So let's have a look at 
javascript loops so i'm going to create another file here and say loops.html so i've also added the initial code now so now let's first look at the simple for loop so here let me say let me create a variable called n all right and then i'll say document dot write let's display a simple message saying the numbers are all right and let me just break the line all right now to display the numbers from 0 to 9 i'm just going to use the for loop saying for n equals 0 n less than 10 n plus plus and then i'm going to display the values so i say document dot write n and let's just give a space between the numbers so yeah all right so now when we have a look at the browser you can see it says the numbers are and it displays the digits 0 to 9. Now let's look at another example for loops. So I'm going to create another script tag. And now let me just say document dot write. Now I'm just going to you know, add space, add two lines from the previous one. So let me just add these first. All right. And now let's say let y equals i'm going to create an array so let's say 2 4 6 8 10 12 and 14 yeah and then let's say for i'm going to create an index variable that is i i equals 0 to length equals y dot length and sum equals zero and i less than length i plus plus so here i've just created three different variables and initialized them here so i've created an index variable i a length variable for length and then we have the sum variable that records the sum of the array and then i've uh, made sure that the variable i is less than the length and then i've used the increment operator so now let's say sum plus equals y of i and then say document dot write the sum is sum. All right. So let's save and execute this. So here you can see that the sum 56 is being displayed. So this is how you make use of loops. You can also use the while loop. However, I'm not going to get into the details of it. I'm going to help you understand how functions in JavaScript work. So I'll say functions.html and let me also add the initial code. All right. So now one thing to remember is that there are various ways to define a function in JavaScript. However, in this video, I'm going to show you two different methods. One is using the function constructor and the other one is using functions expressions. Now, when it comes to function constructor, we make use of the function keyword and the new keyword. All right. So now let's just see how it works. So let's say where my function equals new and the function keyword here, which is the constructor, I say function Within this, I'm going to define my function. So I'm just making use of the simple sum function that adds two numbers. So let's say A and B, these two are the parameters. And when I'm returning it, I say return A plus B. All right. First, let me define the variables. So now when I call the function, I say variable X equals my function. And I'm going to pass the digits, let's say 2 comma 3. All right. And now let's say let, and now let's display it. So demo, if you've seen, I've created an ID called demo here. So I can make use of that here. And I say dot inner HTML. The sum is X. All right. So now let's save it and have a look at the browser. You can see the sum 5 
is being displayed. So now let me show you how to create a function using function expressions. So let me create another script tag. All right. And now let me say variable y equals function. And the parameters that I'm going to be passing are a comma b. And when I'm defining the function, I say return a plus b. So what we're doing here is that the function expression is being stored in a variable and this variable can be used anywhere in your script. All right. So now uh, let's say x equals y of 8 comma 5. All right. And then let's just display the value of x. All right, so now let's have a look at the browser. You can see it displays 13. So I highly recommend you check out the video on JavaScript functions by Simply Learn that explains the concept of functions in detail. So I hope this introductory video to JavaScript was helpful. And if you have any doubts or queries, let us know in the comment section below. So thank you so much for watching and watch out for more videos from us. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.